comes in from the left hand side at around about uh, 850,000 pounds weight, which is well below uh, uh, the max takeoff weight, obviously. Uh, 77,000 pounds of thrust per engine, the uh, Airbus A380. flying the aircraft today. He used to be our head of uh, flight test. He's now uh, senior vice president for uh, our product safety. Uh, coming into the, uh, into the display at about 160 knots, full power, uh, pulling up into the left-hand turn now on the, uh, on the Alpha and the Angler Bank limiter, and then coming round back onto the runway center line for the second flyby. The real technological masterpiece for this aircraft is the design uh, of the wing. Uh, it's obviously highly efficient both in the light, low speed uh, part of the flight envelope as well as the high speed part of the flight envelope. Uh, in fact, uh, the size of the wing itself and the aerodynamic characteristics mean that we can approach a uh, typical an A3, smaller A320 aircraft around about uh, this weight that the aircraft is today, about around 135 knots. Uh, and for a slow speed flyby, the aircraft will be flying on the uh, Alpha limiter at about, about 105 knots. So uh, although we haven't got any headwind today, you're probably looking at around about 100 knots of ground speed for the slow speed pass. Uh, display in the uh, in the configuration with uh, two stages of flap. This gives him a much better roll rate and also uh, lo better low speed performance to keep the turns uh, fairly tight and um, really not far outside the, uh, the airfield boundary. The design of the aircraft was such that we had to be able to take this aircraft anywhere that a 747-400 could go. So, although the wingspan is slightly larger, the, uh, the footprint in terms of weight on the wheels is, is lower than a 777 or a 747 uh, due to the number of tyres that we've got on the aircraft. Uh, the engines are obviously fairly quiet and that's really a characteristic of the, uh, of the modern engine design process. And that's one thing you'll really notice with this aircraft and I think all the pilots that have flown it have said that it's extremely quiet in the cockpit and from the outside. The other feature of the aircraft which uh, gives it its extreme maneuverability for this type of display is the, uh, the fly-by-wire flight control system which is uh, protected such that uh, you have really, it, the aircraft itself limits you to the maximum roll rates, angles of bank uh, and low speed in terms of uh, separation from the stall. So the pilot can come past on the slow speed flyby with full aft stick and the aeroplane will just stay at its uh, maximum alpha, maximum angle of attack, and he'll just fly the aircraft in level flight on the power alone at around about 105 knots, as I say, at about uh, 850,000 pounds weight. We've got six main flight control computers on board. Any one of these can fly the aircraft, and in fact, if all of them fail, it just goes into a, a backup mode, which, uh, which is still perfectly flyable. The other beauty of this uh, fly-by-wire system, apart from the fact you can see he's now coming past for a very slow speed flyby, is the fact that in flight test we can tune the flight controls such that we can actually make the hand, aircraft handle very much how we, how we want. And this is the Alpha Max flyby at uh, just over 100 knots.
aircraft is certificated for a takeoff weight of uh, about 1,250,000 uh, pounds. Uh, a max landing weight just under 100,000 pounds. Uh, sorry, uh, just under 1,000 pounds, that's what I meant to say. Uh, we've actually tested this aircraft closer to uh, 1,500,000 pounds at takeoff and uh, we've landed just under that, uh, that weight also on a very long runway, I hasten to add. The aircraft's pitch limited to 30 degrees uh, of pitch nose up, which he just demonstrated there, 15 degrees nose down, which he's just demonstrating now, and then he'll turn away to position downwind for a landing. Now the other interesting thing, as I mentioned earlier on, the, uh, the adaptability of the flight control system and the tuning that we can do to those flight control laws, um, for the crosswind case for this aircraft, we have adapted the flight control laws so that when the pilot feeds in rudder as he approaches the runway for touchdown, we've uh, ensured that the pilot gets pure yaw. So from below about 80 feet, the aircraft knows it's approaching the ground. When the uh, pilot applies rudder to kick off the drift, uh, you get pure yaw, no induced roll whatsoever. And obviously with a fair bit of inertia from this aircraft, it keeps tracking straight down the center line. So it's a very easy aeroplane to fly, very easy aeroplane to land. And the radio altimeter call-outs uh, as you approach the ground are exactly the same as on all, our, all the rest of the Airbus fleet, uh, 320, 330 and 340. So it's very easy for pilots to adapt. And the cockpit has been designed in a very similar manner to uh, all the rest of our fleet. Today on board we've got uh, Claude Delay, who, who made his first display incidentally at Oshkosh over 20 years ago in the diminutive Cree Cree aircraft, which was a very small twin-engined aircraft de uh, designed by a chap called uh, Michel Colombin from France. Uh, we've actually got it in the uh, belly of the aircraft today as it comes around the final turn. Uh, we'll get it out once we're on Aeroshell Square and we're going to put it under the uh, A380 so that you get an idea of... Uh, and comparison of size. And thank you, test pilot uh, Frank Chapman. We do appreciate that narration.